uh, a snake that's possible hit to prove it well. So, ow, she bit me. He almost disappears. He like he blends in with the table. He's, oh, these guys are these guys are feisty too. You see that? I'm getting bit by sunsets. Yo. Welcome to the channel, friends and family. We've got the most anticipated clutch of the season for you guys. Why was it the most anticipated? Because I made some astronomical claims, not claims, but predictions about this clutch. And the first one being I was predicting that the female would lay nine eggs in one slug, which came true. And then I predicted that we would get five visual Wait, sunsets. The slug? the slug? The slug is gone. We fed it to um, the chickens, I think. Ah. <laughs> Remember, you got to talk in the mic, my guy. Wait, you wanted the slug real bad, didn't you? Yep, and um, to drop it on your boot. <laughs> or in your boot so that you step on a slug. Remember to talk in the mic, you doofoo. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to bring it over here so it's easier for you to do. <laughs> we almost hit exactly what I was hoping for, which was five. But we got four. So anytime you have a head to head pairing, you obviously have a chance to not hit any visuals whatsoever. That chance uh, is uh, there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but we did. We hit visuals and we hit four of them which is real close to five. Oh yeah if you're gonna talk to the mic I would advise that you say something useful of information so that people understand other than just random noises. We've got Eli with us today because well he's my boy I like to have him with me doing things but this clutch happened to hatch on his birthday so these snakes and Eli both have the same birthday and I think that's awesome. And another thing that's awesome is that we actually only got one single normal in the entire clutch, which is kind of astronomical odds for a het tat pairing. It was it was cinnamon het sunset female to an enchi het sunset male. And oh, so cute. Cute, huh? Yep, so cute. So right there <laughs> is the only normal that we got in the clutch. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that this thing hey. is gonna prove out to be het sunset. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at the sides here, to, which is what's helped me determine that. The sides, I don't know if you can see, there's this kind of like pink coming up in the sides and that's kind of what I look for. Now that's not a guaranteed marker that it's going to prove out, but for me I think the chances are high. I don't even know if I checked, I believe this is a female, so she can just stay here and yep, she's a female and that's what you want for uh, a snake that's possible head to prove it. Well, so, ow, she bit me. Unbelievable, ball python bit me? That almost never happens. But that, maybe she's just really hungry. This snake just bit me, you wanna hold it? No, thanks. Come on. No, I'm <laughs> not getting, I am not gonna hold a snake that just bit you. Okay, it doesn't hurt that much. See if that one bites you. I don't think so. So, so this next snake you can see, I, I was still, I'm just still just like trying to decide if this is an enchi cinnamon or just a cinnamon with some really strong sunset markers. I still, I still, I'm, I'm having a hard time kind of, Eli, but please don't just make noises into the microphone. If you want to talk and talk with me about stuff, cool. But I don't just want you making noises in there, okay? Because I'm trying to talk to people and people are watching the video. And then they're not, if, they, if you're just going, Hoo -hoo, when I'm trying to talk and they're trying to hear what I'm saying, then that's, that's really rude, okay? So if you want to talk, that's fine, but like, don't just make noises into the mic, okay? I know a few things about snake. If you don't feed them ever, then they'll just bite you every day. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not going to deny that that's a possibility. So this guy here, as I mentioned, this is either just a cinnamon with really strong sunset markers going on it, or it's a enchi cinnamon that's not het sunset. I, all this has to be proven out through breeding, but um... Just here, take a look. I'll leave that one out and I'll show you the other enchi cinnamons that I've got in the clutch and kind of show you why I'm at a little bit of a loss. And this is another one that I think is going to prove out to be sunset. And this is an enchi cinnamon as well, or only, and this one's not. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think based on what you see here in these snakes. If you think this one's a cinnamon het sunset or if it's cinnamon enchi that has like nice uh, things going on, I, I can't tell. I really can't tell. These snakes are very curious right now. It's kind of cool. Look at the markings here on the... Just look at how orange and pink that is on the sides. I mean, it's just kind of... It's kind of ridiculous. Like, it's there's such beautiful snakes for not being visual sunsets. Like, the, the amount of coolness in the color that's coming through those pinks up the sides. Look at that. That's just... It's just ridiculous. It's really gorgeous. It's... And I've hatched these before, but it still blows my mind just how much 
pink ends up coming up in the belly. And, and of course, this, they've only had their first shed, so I want them to have more sheds so we can see the colors progress. Um, but just gorgeous snakes. Did you want to hold one? Um, no. Are you sure? I thought you wanted to hold snakes while you're down. These ones, these ones didn't bite me. And that other one was just being weird. Look, look, look where, where that other one bit me. There's not even any, there's not even any blood. I'm gonna see the... It was right, it bit this finger. And you can't even see anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just want to pet them. Here, just hold like this. Cup your hands like this and just <laughs> hold them. Look, you can pet them on the nose and they'll, they'll go back. Here. Okay. There you go, my guy. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to put him away. Oh, just hold on to him for me. Hold on to that one while I pull out the next snake. Please? Okay. It's okay, little buddy. It's okay. I think I can't handle him. Oh, you're doing great. Just hold, just keep him supported and he'll feel comfortable. And if you think he's looking like he's gonna bite with ball python, all you have to do is just kinda boop like that. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh. Okay. Right? Come on, you've had plenty of ball pythons yeah. in your life. You, you, do you remember do you remember going to Miguel's house and holding a blood python that was very bitey? It even tried to bite you and you just held it? You were only like two and a half or something, so you probably don't remember. I think I remember that. The little snakey is cute, Daddy. Very cute. The funny thing is I think all of the non-visual sunsets no, are all female, so that's kind of cool because I can just, you know, down the line. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> to make him not bite me. There you go. See? <laughs> now he's a little scared. Yeah, if you keep him a little bit scared. You don't want to be really scared. You just want him to be respect. You want to have mutual respect with the snake. Whoa, where is he going? He's just cruising around. He's checking you out. <laughs> Do you think he wants to cruise around on your table? Uh, maybe. Let, why don't you hold him there so I can show these next snakes. So these next two are also... <laughs> oh, he's going up. <laughs> <laughs> so these... All right, but one sec, I'm gonna talk about these ones, okay? So these next two are also Enchi Cinnamons, and you can just see the color on the sides, the, the pink and peach coming up the sides. I'll, I'll do some updates on these guys once they've uh, had a few more sheds too, but just phenomenal examples of Enchi Cinnamons. And I, I have to imagine that it's the Het Sunset that's in there. You know, they're 66% Pos Het Sunset, but I, I'm gonna keep all these, luckily they're all female, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep them all back and eventually I'll, I'll have another um, male visual sunset that I will put with these females and prove them out. And the nice thing of doing it that way is that even if they don't prove out, since you have a visual male that you pair them with, the, all the babies will at least be 100% het sunset and then you'll get to prove out the other snakes in the process. These snakes are pretty growly. I think he's up to trying to bite you on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. All right, let's check out the visuals. Aren't they really cute? Wait. wait I think the wait, ball pythons uh, are. Are those, one the, are those ones kind of bitey? Nope. I'm surprised that that one bit me, actually. That They're usually not bitey at all. But Tell me if one bites you or two. Now, one of the interesting things is that all of the visual sunsets turned out to be this male. This is taking too long. <laughs> I'm sorry, my guy. Would you like to would you like to be set free and not be part of this video anymore? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, that's your that's your choice. I'll I'll see you later, bud. Okay. Thanks bye. for thanks for taking part in the video thus far. You're welcome. <laughs> and keep it and show me out if one snake bite you. Okay. I guess I'll take center stage since since Eli's out of here. So, what we've got here are two visual cinnamon sunsets and the cinnamon obviously darkens up the sunset a lot and you get these these peach up the sides and i do have um i do have a visual female that i've held back and i've showed her before and the pink on the sides definitely starts to disappear as they become adults but the contrast in the pattern actually becomes more accentuated as they age and cinnamon just by itself is not necessarily the best enhancer for the sunset gene, but when you pair it with Enchi, which is one of the best enhancers I've seen this far for the sunset gene, it takes it to the next level. And you'll see because we also have an Enchi sunset here and an Enchi cinnamon sunset for you to check out side by side. And you'll see what I'm talking about is why even though cinnamon by itself with sunset is not the most enhancing, you'll see why it... And this is becoming more and more common knowledge, I think, is that finding that combo between many different genes in ball python breeding that really bring out the best that all the genes have to offer. And in my opinion, Enchi Cinnamon Sunset is one of the best combos out there 
for enhancing the sunset gene to date. So Enchi and Cinnamon together. As you can see with just the Enchi Cinnamon Pass Hets, just the way those things look with what I'm assuming is that Het Sunset influence, they're just, it's just the combo that is just made to go with Sunset. So I'm just fortunate that those were the two incomplete dominant genes I had to work with for Sunset. That's just that was kind of luck of the draw there, I guess. I set up this nice uh, overhead camera so you guys can get a top-down view of the snakes as well. I don't know how well it's coming in because it's a tight little window, but hopefully you guys are getting a nice shot from above of these guys as well. So you can kind of see the top down and you get the side view from this can. I'm trying to do my best to make this visually appealing for you guys. I know sometimes it's hard and sometimes the snakes don't want to cooperate. They don't want to, <laughs> they want to get all over the place, which is, which is fine, which is fine. But I, I would like you guys to have nice steady shots of the snakes. It's a challenge sometimes. What I need is a cameraman who knows what he or she is doing. That's what I need. But for now, I'm a one man show and that's okay. But look also, if you, know, you notice the detail on the size of these, how the cinnamon really makes all the alien heads super tiny. So like the amount of alien heads per capita on these snakes is just enormous because they make them small, they make them real detailed. There's, there's so much going on on the size of these snakes and the fact that they age and keep that contrast and, and the contrast actually gets enhanced, that's a big win for me. All right, let's take a look at the Enchi visual. So there is our Enchi sunset and a male of course as all the visuals are, are males and you see the entry brings this kind of like gold layer to the top and then the other thing it does is it really brings those pinks up the side of the sunset and turns in this real light pink orange color very very cool and then again being an entry and she's sunset male who is available by the way this guy is going to be not staying here when the right person comes along and, and wants this snake this snake is going to be available as well as the other two cinnamon males as well are also available so just take a look at those sides and you can tell this table is quite quite a bit of an orange color itself so he almost disappears he like he blends in with the table this, oh these guys are these guys are feisty too you see that i'm getting bit by Sunsets. This is more than I've bit, been bit by. For whatever reason, this week I've been bit by ball pythons more than in my entire life. Actually, it's pretty interesting, but luckily it doesn't hurt. Beautiful. Now, now let's take out the Enchi Cinnamon Sunset, and you can see in comparison how the Enchi and Cinnamon together really takes it to the next level. Now you can see on the top here, there's still that that gold that the Enchi is bringing into the sunset, especially in the aliens. You can see along the dorsal here. The sides, look at the sides, that, that pink that we saw in the Enchi Cinnamon Hets, or Pos Hets, is just uh, phenomenal. Like, look at that. It's just that pink that comes through. Oh man, that, this is a little feisty one. I'm happy. This one actually, the Enchi Cinnamon male already had his first meal, and it seems like the rest of these guys are ready to take their first meal too. They just shed out which is I, I, I kind of wait for them to shed and then I put them into their own tubs and I give them some time, but I was feeding other hatchlings last night as well. So I just figured I'd try these guys and nobody wanted to eat except for this guy, which is fun because he's actually my, my holdback. The Enchi Cinnamon Sunset Male is the, the one that I'm keeping. So, and you can see why, I mean, there's some projects I'm ready to put him into uh, as soon as he gets ready next season. So, but just look at how amazing just beautiful beautiful animals and it's also this is nice for me getting bit i've been on this get bit by snakes thing the little little, little tiny snakes that are inconsequential to bite you it's just and you can see like they don't even they don't even draw blood they're little ba little baby hatchlings like they just it's cute to me like he's always saying that the snakes are cute when they bite me I, it's a cute thing for me i like it maybe i'm a little weird maybe i'm a lot weird Kind of tight shot up there. But I'm gonna see if I can pile the entire clutch together so you can kind of get a look at everything contrasted together. <laughs> look at that, that's just a beautiful, beautiful pile of snakes right there. And I really, uh, here, I'm gonna go up top and see if they're all fitting in that frame. That is just a gorgeous pile of baby snakes right here. This is, this is amazing. I'm just gonna let them, I'm just gonna form them into that pile right there and then I'm just gonna kind of let them go and, and leave as they will. And as one tries to move off of the table, I will rescue it from committing suicide.
might as well be out. <laughs> it looks like you're coming with. <laughs> staying here so the last two in the frame i'm sure the fact that the mc sunset was bottom of the pile had something to do with him staying <laughs> as last in frame but how funny that he is the one that's available there's there's a couple available out here but he is the most available <laughs> thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed our little update on the most anticipated ball python clutch of the year for us and uh, i am happy I'm happy, happy, happy. I'm a happy camper. It's a good day. It's a great week. It's a good life. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you next video. <laughs> Bye. Good point. How, what kind of birthday would it be if we didn't have a cake, right? And since they're snakes, we want to do a rat cake. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because snakes have rats and bunnies. Ooh, and don't forget the bunnies that are the frosting. Who and the candles are wax.